am so glad to be with you today, and I'm so glad that you took the opportunity to spend a few minutes with me as we continue talking about 1 Timothy 4.12 being an example. So today our focused example is love. Be an example in love. So our big words are example, young, despise, love, and be. Now some of these words may be familiar to you and some may not. So very quickly we're going to go through the meaning of these words. But I also encourage you when we're all done to sit down with your parents or a big brother, a big sister, and maybe look at these words a little more. Our first word is young, and young means not being here a long time, not old. Example means to show, to illustrate something. Despise means to look down on, not really good or lackable. Love is a feeling for others, and be is to be, to exist. So again, I encourage you to take an opportunity to go back and look at those words. Again, we're coming from 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12, being an example. So love is, what is love? Love is caring sharing, helping, kindness. And there are other words that you could use to describe love. Those are just a few that I thought about to do our presentation today. But also the Bible tells us that love is patient and kind. Patient means you have to wait sometimes. It just doesn't come to you all of a sudden. So love is patient, love is kind, love is caring, sharing, helping, and being. Now, love is a word that requires some type of relationship. Uh, your mom and dad has a relationship. You, your friend, that's a relationship. But the relationships we're talking about today is that Christian relationship that connects brothers and sisters together. So we're talking about Christian love. Now, being an example does not mean we should copy or imitate others. Now, we are very familiar with the word copy. To be an example in love doesn't mean you're going to do what the person next to you is doing, or your best friend at school is doing, or your friend at children's church. It means that you do not have to copy or imitate what others are doing. Being an example is who we are. Being an example in love is who you are. Again, 1 Timothy 4 and 12. Be an example in speech, conduct, love, faith, and purity. Those are five areas that our Bible passage tells us to be examples in. Speech, conduct, love, faith, and purity. Now when you look at those five words, where is the word love positioned? Take a moment and look at those words. Where is it positioned? What spot is it in? As you can see, love is at the center of these words. It's in the very middle. It's at the center. So with that in mind, our Bible also tells us that love is at the center of all God has done for us. So in everything that we do as a Christian will be undergirded or will involve love. So love will sprout out in your speech, in your conduct, in your faith, and in purity. Love should be involved in all of those areas of our lives. Again, the Bible reminds us that love is at the center of all that God has done for us because he loves us. So why is it so important to be an example in love? Because 
We are to help people become followers of Christ. We are to help others by our obedience to Christ. And we can show our obedience by being an example in love. And when we do that, the people will see Christ in our lives. Remember that. We are to help people become followers of Christ. We are to help others by our obedience to Christ. And we can show our obedience by being an example in love. And then people will see Christ within our own lives. Okay? I have a couple of things in this little baggie. Who knows what these are? You can see them a little bit better now. They are batteries. It's a little device that we call batteries. So I also have some devices here on the table. I have a flashlight. I have a battery powered toothbrush. I have a remote control. I have a flashlight. I have a watch. And I have a cell phone. Now what is the same with all these devices that I just picked up? Flashlight, battery powered toothbrush, remote control, flashlight, watch, and cell phone. What is the same with all these devices? Well, I will tell you, they all require the use of a battery to work. The battery goes inside of the device. It's inside this remote, goes inside the flashlight, inside the watch, as well as inside the cell phone. Now, why does it go inside? It goes inside because the battery has to give power to all of these devices in order for them to work or function as they were intended to. If there is no battery in any of these devices, they don't work. They're not going to work. And batteries can be different sizes, different colors, and the one device here that has probably the smallest battery is what? What do you think? If you said the cell phone, you're right. It has the smallest battery inside this phone to make it do what it's supposed to do. But guess what? This phone can do the same thing that all of these devices on this table can do. It has a flashlight. It can tell time. And if you're really good, it probably can help you maneuver your television like this remote can. But this one little battery allows this phone to do that and even more. You can look up information, you can play games, you can do so many things with this cell phone with that tiny little battery inside. So just as this tiny little battery inside these devices allows them to operate, to function, to work, the love inside of you would do the same thing if you allow that love to be an example to others. It is powerful. You can do many things with it. You can touch the lives of many people. And it is what God would want us to do to be an example. Our last presentation, what are ways I can be an example in love each day? What are some ways do you think you can be an example in love each day? I can share one way with you. When you wake up each morning, ask, Dear God, will you help me to be an example of your love to others? 
Maybe you would do it before you get out of the bed, after you get up. But first thing in the morning, if you would take just a moment and ask God, will you please help me this day to show love to others? Now down here, for those of us who like to do hands-on things, I made some bees. It may look a little funny because I'm not really good at artwork, but it says B-E-E, -E, be an example in love. So what I used was simply some yellow finger paint that will wash right off and a black marker, two things. But the most important thing was my fingerprint. I used a fingerprint. I use the thumbprint. Why did I do that? Because that is unique to me. And when you use your fingerprint or your thumbprint there, that is unique to you. And that is unique in that you need to be an example in love to others. So that makes it a little special. So all you need to do is put your fingerprint or thumbprint there, put the little antenna, his little wings and his little stinger back there. And be reminded that you can be just as busy as a bee in being an example in love. So thank you so much for spending this time with me today as we talked about 1 Timothy 4.12, being an example in love. And always try to remember each morning to ask God, will you help me? be an example of your love to others. Thank you so much for sharing with me today. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.